Capital Citizens back with me again, Jika Utama Putrana. I am your lecturer of operating systems. This is our first meeting. It's called OS Overview. In our first video, we will discuss about computer organization and architecture or COA. So, this is only a reminder of what we have learned in the past, something called COA or Computer Organization and Architecture. Here we learn about computer organization. Here we have a picture of computer organization or we can also call a computer system. Every part of this computer system is a subject in our past uh, course called COA. Uh, I here will I want to um, take a review and explain these parts once again. So CPU is the main processor, as you know. Uh, what does it process? It processes data. Where is the data kept? The data is kept in the main memory. And the main memory uh, is filled with instructions and data. Uh, how does the main memory communicate with the CPU? It uses the bus. So the bus is a connector. The main function of a bus is as a connector. It brings data to the CPU. And here we have a memory cache, cache memory. Cache memory is a small memory. This is small. And it is close to the CPU because it, it is small and it is close. It is fast. So what is the function uh, of cache memory? It is to speed up the CPU process. How does it do that? Uh, as we mentioned before, the CPU will process what is in the main memory and uh, when uh, uh, it takes a part of the main memory so it doesn't go back far to the main memory it keeps it in the uh, cache memory uh, this is uh, only um, uh, for a while temporary temporary and then it will uh, take uh, it will be took back to the main memory and lastly we have IO device why do we have IO device to interact with users interact with users so IO device is like Everything you touch at a computer, mouse, keyboard, this, these are inputs and there are also outputs like monitor, and speaker, and anything that goes in and out. So, uh, if there are no I.O. means that uh, nothing can change what is inside the main memory. So, uh, in order that we can uh, interact with the CPU, we need we need I/O devices. And how does the I/O device with the computer? We need an I/O module. This is a bridge. So, a bridge that connects the input and the output of a computer system. That's all to explain our review of COA. So, that is the end of uh, video 1. In video 2, we will discuss the next thing to discuss about uh, 
uh, operating systems overview. Thank you for your attention. I'll meet you in the next video.